to Nexatech. Today we're breaking down Google's bold new move into XR tech with their latest Android smart glasses. This might actually be a game changer. So Google just revealed their brand new Android XR glasses at their I.O. event and trust us, this, this is nothing like the Google Glass failure from more than a decade got this time. They may have finally gotten it right. So we're going to break down everything we currently know about these glasses from the wild AI features to how they might seriously change the way we use technology and be sure to stick around to the end because we'll also share our real thoughts on whether these are worth getting hyped over or just another flashy gimmick. So what are these glasses? Exactly well, Google has been developing smart glasses for over 10 years and now they've made something that, that looks like regular eyewear but it's loaded with next level hardware. These Android XR glasses are made to be worn all day and sync with your phone. They feature cameras, mic, speakers, and here's the exciting part. Some models have an in-lens display that shows you information privately. Right in your vision, we were surprised to find they actually come in three different types. Uh, there's a base version with no display, a mid-tier type with a single lens display called a monocular. Then the high-end models with screens in both lenses, a binocular, they also support prescription lenses, so you don't have to choose between clear vision and cool tech. What really makes these glasses stand out is that they're built from the ground up to function. With Google Gemini AI, it's like wearing an AI assistant that sees and hears what you do all day. Imagine having your own Jarvis from Iron Man, but it's right on your face. So let's dive into what these glasses can actually do, because this is where it starts getting wild. During the demo at Google I.O., their team member Nisha walked us through how they work backstage. Even the basics are impressive. You can see notifications, reply to messages, and take photos without ever reaching for your phone. But that's only the start. One feature that genuinely made us say wow out loud was its visual memory tech. In one test, someone looked briefly at a bookshelf, turned away, and asked Gemini what book was behind them, and the glasses remembered and told them the title. Let's actually step it up a notch with something we call memory. For a rolling contextual window, the AI remembers what you see without having to be told what to keep track of. So you guys may have noticed I snuck a peek back at the shelf a moment ago. I wasn't paying attention, but let's see if Gemini was. Hey, did you happen to catch the title of the white book that was on the shelf behind me? The White Book is Atomic Habits by James Clear. <laughs> that is absolutely right. Now, the translation ability is on another level, too. These glasses can translate text you're looking at live. But even more impressive is their real-time voice translation. In the demo, two people spoke in different languages, one in Hindi, another in Farsi. And the glasses translated everything live with subtitles. And I are going to speak to each other in our mother tongues. Nishta's going to speak Hindi, I'm going to speak Farsi, very poorly, and you'll see the feed from both of our glasses back here. And so you can all follow along, we'll show an English translation in real time. Okay? Let's give it a shot. Fingers crossed. Halamitunibebini, had for a man. ترجمه <laughs> <laughs> See, we said it's a risky demo. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> Thank you. It's literally like having real life subtitles. We also found that the navigation tools are amazing. Instead of staring at your phone while walking, the glasses project turn by turn navigation in your vision using 3D overlays on the real world. It's like bringing game style maps to life. And when you snap pictures using the glasses, you immediately get a live preview right in front of you. Hey, Gemini, what have I missed in the Besties group chat? Ni nee and Sarah are discussing meeting later today at Geo's Pizza to celebrate Kelsey's promotion and are wondering if you can make it. Are there any vegan options there? Yes. 
Oh, and can you send the pic of the blue dress to let them know what I'll be wearing tonight? How's this? Awesome. Send it. Is there a store where I can get a card for Kelsey nearby? Serendipity Cards is a good choice. Let's go. No more pulling out your phone to check if everyone blinked in the shot. So, how does all this really function? Let's break down the tech side. First off, we should clarify, these aren't standalone devices. They link to your Android phone, which does most of the heavy lifting. That's actually smart because it means the glasses can stay lighter and last longer. From what we've seen, they're meant to last a full day on one charge, though. Of course, that depends on usage. The physical design stands out too. Unlike the original Google Glass, which looked super clunky and awkward, these new ones look far more like normal glasses. They still have slightly thicker arms and frames, but they're way less obvious than past versions. We were also surprised to find out Google isn't going solo on this. They're working with Samsung to co-develop the Android XR system, XR system, and they've also partnered with eyewear names like Gentle Monster and Warby Parker to make stylish variants, and they plan to team up with Caring Eyewear next. Smart move. Because let's be real, if they don't look good, no one's going to wear them, no matter how powerful they are. Now the real game changer here is Gemini AI integration. This AI doesn't just answer your queries, it actually understands what you're seeing and what's happening around you. It can detect objects, read signs, translate language, and even remember what you just looked at. This completely surpasses what other smart glasses can do. So what do we really think about the future of AR glasses? Honestly, we were skeptical at first when we heard about these, especially after seeing the original Google Glass fail a decade ago. We also own Meta Ray-Ban smart glasses, and while they're decent, they lack serious AI features. But after learning more about what Google's got lined up, especially with Meta and others also stepping up, we're now genuinely excited. The timing feels right, too. Back then, the tech wasn't ready, especially AI. But now with Gemini stronger chips and better displays, smart glasses might finally be ready for mainstream use. And we found this solid point in an article, the fact that these glasses solve real daily problems. Need directions? Just look it up. Can't understand a language? It translates on the fly. Lost your stuff? It remembers where you left it. These are real useful tools, not just gimmicks. That said, there are still some major, major questions left unanswered. Google hasn't shared any pricing or launch dates yet, but we're betting they won't be cheap. The binocular version especially will probably be pricey. Then there's the privacy issue. Will people feel okay knowing someone nearby might be recording? Google says there's an LED light that turns on when recording, but is that enough? And of course, battery life. They say all day, but what does that mean? One hour of active use? Eight hours? What happens if the battery dies midday? Are we stuck wearing dead glasses? Still, we're pretty optimistic overall. This feels like one of those rare texts that could truly change how we live in the real world. It's not just about a screen on your face. Uh, it's about an assistant that sees with you and helps you interact more smoothly. So there you go, Google's new Android XR glasses. They're dropping later this year and developers will be able to start building apps for them soon. Google's already letting trusted testers try them out, which probably includes employees and a few chosen partners.